Okay. Trying was trying to make sure that I that I was actually streaming. I wasn't able to I wasn't able to see it there. But anyway, guys, what is up? What is up, politics gaming here? And today we are doing a brand new video or a brand new live stream. It's going to be of a game called Command Modern Operations. I'm gonna try to see if this is yeah the, the game isn't the best. Like it's a it's a little buggy from what I can tell. Um, y'all tab out of it and uh, and it uh kind of messes with you, which is what what it's doing right now. So it's going to be a very interesting one because what I actually am thinking about doing with Command on our op modern operations is once I'm able to <clears throat> kind of learn it and you know get my get my uh claws around the concept of how the game works which is what i've been doing now i've been watching a lot of videos i'm kind of like making sure that i'm able to to understand uh the game um essentially what i'm wanting to do is that i actually would like to do a uh, video i would like to do a video in which you know, I can integrate this with Power and Revolution. So basically, I can actually go to war in Power and Revolution, and then it would be kind of like an interesting thing because we're talking about geopolitics, politics, elections, everything like that. But then I can go to war in Power and Revolution, and then I can kind of detail it with Command Modern Operations. And you guys are really going to like this. I think I think you guys will pretty much genuinely like uh, Command Modern Operations because of how just interesting the game is. So let, let me go ahead and get something started. We're going to kind of showcase um, one mission with you guys. And that's basically what we're doing. We're going to kind of uh, show... Man, my OBS is bugging out with this game. This is going to be... We're looking for nuclear storm. So let me go ahead and get this loaded. Okay. I actually have an idea of how I can get this to work. Give me one second. Because it is it is just bugging out on me right now. So, give me one second. Um, based Chulo? Is it Chulo? How are you doing, man? Um, who else was that? That was Freedom Tompkins. How are you? Welcome to the stream. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing out there? Essentially... Give me one second. Just a lot. Okay. Okay, give me two more seconds. So what we're gonna do is Open back command. And I really think you guys are gonna like this. And I'll show you guys why I've been liking it a lot. And I've been I've been, I've been really tempted to get this game over the past maybe like a year. Um, honestly, because it it's just it's it's very it's very interesting. Hang on. Boom boom. We're gonna do Display. We're just gonna do regular display capture. I'm good. One thousand years later. Shut up. Forty-seven to seven. Shut up, Maple. Shut up, Maple. Bar. 
Okay. Yeah, now I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so one more. Always fun to do technical stuff whenever you're streaming. Some people are just like, dude, you're supposed to have this ready. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, so we're gonna find the scenario nuclear storm. So essentially, no, man, this thing is just wild on me right now. Hate that. Okay. Now we can transition this over. All right, now we can now we can look at this. Okay. So, essentially you have all these scenarios. These are actually through the Steam Workshop and you know, you have your regular scenarios, you have um, you, you have, like, historical scenarios, and essentially this game is so detailed that you can essentially make any situation with any accurate weapon system within the last 75 years. And I'm talking... <clears throat> and I'm talking from, like, World War II all the way up to now. And whenever I say weapon systems, we're talking about naval ships. We're talking about ground units we're talking about air units um satellites even you can have anti-submarine warfare you can have anti-ground warfare you can have sam sam warfare <clears throat> you can have um uh, anti <laughs> i think i already said anti-satellite war warfare you can shoot satellites out of the sky of all things and so there's one scenario that I would like to show off. So this is how the game kind of works. And the learning curve is steep. I'm talking steep. So Nuclear Storm is going to be the first one. This is actually the first one that I was able to kind of finally kind of understand how to play a little bit of it. So Nuclear Storm 1991 is based in 1991 in Iraq. If you guys can put two and two together, you'll know what happened in 1991 in Iraq. The use of nuclear weapons in the Persian Gulf War was thankfully never never seriously considered, and the main belief was that their main role was as a deterrent to prevent Saddam Hussein from using chemical weapons of his own against coalition forces. In this timeline, this was not the case. Hundreds of coalition personnel have been killed and maimed by a chemical-loaded rocket, and now retaliation is in order to illustrate within limits that some lines are not to be crossed. So essentially what this is, is that... In the Gulf War, this was actually not, again, just like it said, not seriously considered, but it was a possibility that Saddam Hussein was saying, if they invade Iraq, we will use chemical weapons and weapons of mass destruction against them to prevent them from, <clears throat> from, from taking out the government. And in reality, it was actually found out that Saddam did not want to use them unless his government was on the verge of collapsing. And if he was on the verge of collapsing, then then he would have started to take the gloves off. And that was not the case because we never went into Baghdad and we didn't try to, to uh, topple the Saddam government. So in that case, there was no weapons of mass destruction that was actually going to be used in... <coughs> in uh, Iraq, in the, in the first po Persian Gulf War. So then you hit load selected, and then you have a uh, side selection and briefing. So you come over here, you can change like the side that you can play on. So you can play as Iraq, or you can play as uh, the Coalition. Um, and then so you have your intel report, essentially. So Iraqi chemical attack on coalition forces estimated 400 KIA and over uh, 500 WIA. POTUS has personally ordered a retaliation against Iraq. Enemy source forces um, are air bases guarded by a combination of SAMs and AAA. 
Uh, so far, no long-range sins more advanced than SA-2s have been detected. The Iraqis apparently believe the chemical sites themselves are beating retaliatory targets and have agreed to play the best SAMs around them. In a friendly forces, we have two. We have a set of F-117s at uh, Kamis Musyat ready to deploy nuclear weapons. KC-135s at Riyadh are uh, know they're refueling F-117s, but they do not want no what the fighters are going to do. The mission is attack H2, H3, and HD dispersal sites with nuclear weapons. Okay, I thought it was buffering for a second. <clears throat> and then execution, poor weather is not an issue unlike, unlike PGMs. Nuclear bombs do not require accurate guidance. Bases are removed enough for civilian casualties to not be a major issue, estimated in a few dozen nomads at the most. And um, ECON, ECMON state be restricted emissions. Ek, Ekman? Ekman? Actually, I'm still kind of getting a lot of the military terminology, so that's a lot of things that I'm trying to uh, to under to understand about this game. And then good luck, we are all sons of bitches again. So, enter scenario, and then we get brought up to the map. We have an eight-hour time window, and we have scenario features and realism options. These are set by the guy by the person that made the scenario. <clears throat> so detail related um, fire control and then everything else. We have uh, no unlimited, no aircraft damage, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, go through. And then we have two air bases. We have one just up the coast um, from Yemen. And then we have Riyadh International Airport. So over in Riyadh, we're going to come over here and then we are going to deploy up to four of these. And I think we're gonna launch them individually. What if I wanted to ready arm them? <clears throat> ready time, 20 hours, sustained operations, yeah. But then, don't enable, we don't want to enable quick. Everyone having a good new, good good new year? Yeah, how is you guys how are you guys as New Year's? How are y'all doing today? It's very interesting that it is the year 2023. I didn't expect. It's it just it, it feels so like three years has just gone by. Like, and that's that's just yeah, makes me feel weird. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, we're going to go over to missions and we're going to define an area for these refueling tankers. I actually just found out about this. Yes, I can make mission areas now. Then three, four. Actually, does this work? It does. For some reason, it didn't work whenever I tried it the first time. We're going to launch these. Assign the mission. So we're also going to make a mission for these refuelers. Calling it refueling. This is going to be a support role. Have you gotten the hang of the game? No. <laughs> no, sir, I have not. I have, I have absolutely not gotten the hang of this game. I only just found out how to make missionaries last night. fact that no one responded either means everyone had a good new year or a bad one or just don't care let me get okay so these are kc-135 strato tankers let's assign a mission then these are going to be 
single aircraft. Inherited allow. Tankers AAR. What is this? This user interface reminds me of another game and I cannot put my finger on it. Support mission course, add points, validate area, revalidation, okay. Continuous loop, single loop. Cruise loader, cruise. I'm gonna put these at 35,000 feet. Transit touring following. Force flight size. Specified a cruising altitude and transit altitude. You don't want to be you don't want them to be shot down, do you? Well, I've actually played this before and I do not see any sort of like response from the Iraqis, at least not in that time that I played it. Um what I'm trying to figure out is each class on station. What I'm trying to figure out is how to, and I think I think this is going to be fine. Ready selected aircraft. You have have no aircraft selected. Which they shouldn't need three hours. I can launch them on a whim. I could. I should be able to. Launch individually. They're in the air. We're going to wait for them to get up into the air. And then this is our mission right here. So these are the areas in which we're going to send about four F-117s up north. And we're going to strike them with all of the nuclear weapons that we have, or have at our disposal. AEWS. Hey man, you gotta <clears throat> you gotta be helping me out here. So we're gonna wait for our KC 135s to get into the air, and then we're gonna worry about our F 117s. And you can really make any situation. You can actually, I've seen people recreate the um, the, the sinking of the Moskva in this to see whether Neptune missiles could have actually sank the Moskva and they were ever, yo, no fucking way you got this game, really? <laughs> Gabe Volg is excited that I got command. Dude, I've been, I've been holding off on this game for a while. I have been holding off on this game for a while. We're waiting for our KC-135s to get into the air, and then we're going to be launching F-117s. We're going to be uh, commencing a... We're going to be commencing a nuclear attack against Iraq for using chemical weapons against coalition forces. It's a hundred dollars in Brazil. It's on sale. Should be on sale.
Yeah, and you actually have any weapon system. So I mean, I can, I can literally say like, uh, like Brazil is gonna invade Suriname, and then we're gonna like, or we're gonna like launch an attack against like a Peruvian like rebel base or something like that to protect the sanctity of Brazil or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I would love to see you simulate combat and command while when playing Power and Revolution. It's just. Just learn how to use the editor and you're good to go. PG, I gotta see you later. Alright, thank you so much for joining in the joining in today. I wonder if you guys can see the 3D view. Can you guys see? Yes, you can. Oh, cool. So we do have a 3D view that we have. So we have our KC 135s. You can see right here. Gives y'all something to look at. Which actually, that's what I need to do real quick before I forget. Help, reference points. Scenario editor. Where is the options menu? There it is, game options. I need to come over here and we're going to do map symbols NATO. So it's going to be NTDS plus NATO app six. What about stylized or directional stylized? I like the stylized, but it's kind of a little bit easier, a little easier to kind of understand it whenever you're looking at the NATO ones. You can definitely even notice whenever a missile's coming at you. Have you tried full screening the game instead of playing a windowed? I don't know if it affects performance. Taylor reminder that defeating Saddam is always based. <laughs> All right, so our uh, KC 135s are on the way. Are on the way, on the way, on the way. So we're gonna go ahead and launch. We're gonna go ahead and launch our lads. At oh, okay, so we only have three Nighthawks. They're armed with B-61s, which are 340 kiloton nuclear weapons. We're going to... Mission reference points. And this is going to be... Define area. It took me three days to figure out how to make an area, dude. So 560 to 563. 60, 61, 62, and 63. And then... Build up aircraft. Wait, no, 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 no. I need to do a mission. Create a new mission, mission, operation, empire. <laughs> it's going to be a strike mission, air intercept, land strike. This is going to be in Nighthawks, one, two, three. Not with nukes, though, with WTF. <laughs> he's just like, yo, let's defeat Saddam. And then he's just like, wait, we're using nuclear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. Hold on, B. Hold on, Chief. I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. Jettison. Escorts. This is a strike intercept mission. So we're going to be 
here. Using nukes to prevent someone. Well, he already used chemical weapons against coalition forces. Is the biggest thing. I have seven hours. So that's them on our mission. Yeah, these are gonna be the Nuke Hawks, armed with the B-61 tactical strategic bombs. Bro, why are you so high up? They were hovering around like 10,000 feet, and I'm like, y'all good? I don't think you want to be that low whenever you're using a nuclear weapon. Okay, so... Go ahead and put this on so our KC 135s are on the way. We're going to do something a little more complex whenever we're done here. Give me one second, so get rid of this mission. So one of them is already on that strike mission. This one is going to come over to the left. Wait, no, 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 he's gonna go over to the right. He's going to hit that one. This one. It's going to kind of hang around back right here, right, right across the Iraqi border. And then he's going to, he's going to kind of clean up with the other two nuclear weapons that he has. And we're going to make sure to drop everything that we got. Database is huge. If you click the unit weapons, you can pull up the info for the bomb. It's crazy. Yeah, and that and that's what gets me about it is that, like like right here, I can click, I can click right here. Unit weapons two times two B sixty one tactical strategic bombs three hundred forty uh, kilotons, and then you come down here and it gives you all of this information. And I'm just like, I'm like, how is this, how is this possible that a game has this 
all of this information? Like, isn't this like classified information unless they just make it up? This game looks interesting. It is interesting, dude. And I mean, I like what the developer says. There's a one channel that I've been watching. <clears throat> Hi, what is this game? This is Command Modern Operations. Um, the developer even said that that this game you can treat it like a video game. You can treat it like a simulator. You can treat it like, like oh, this military operation came up today, and he actually specifically named um, when the uh, the Iranians. The Iranian military launched that attack against the uh, uh, U.S. airbase in Iraq, like right after Qasem Soleimani died, or was <laughs> he was assassinated by the U.S. military? Make sure the Nighthawk that's going to hang around the Iraqi border loiters to not waste fuel. Okay, thank you so much. So once he gets there, we're going to make him loiter. So it, can I let me ask you this? So I have my KC one thirties on on standby. How do I get them to refuel? Because I'm gonna need them to refuel to get back. Refuelers should loiter as well. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know what? We're going to get him to kind of hang around too. So this is going to be the only Nighthawk that is going to engage right now. Okay, actually, we're going to do this. Ammo. AC hardened. What do we need to hit? H3. We're going to hit that directly. And there's a Sam right there. Funny thing is that the Sams, I don't even necessarily think I need to turn on my radar. I don't even know if anything's on. You can use a curvature of the earth to confuse Iraqi Sams as well. How do I do that? So you're going to loiter. Hang on, what are you doing? Has reached to bingo fuel, are you kidding me? So we're going to hit H2, H2. So he's going to go refuel. And then this one is just about to drop his bomb. goes you can actually so you can launch it from 30 36,000 feet last time it dropped down to like 
ten thousand feet and then dropped its bomb. Which I didn't understand that. Oh, don't tell me you're loitering around. Come on. You gotta uh, you gotta head back south, my boy. Head in the general direction of the refuelers, because you're about to have bingo fuel. And the bomb has dropped. It's about to go off. Ah! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> How is it still alive? <laughs> <laughs> it was like five eight, five miles this way that it hit that it dropped. He has another one, right? Hang on, hang on, hang on, buddy. You gotta go back and engage. So if it did that, I can hit this access point right here. No, go back! And that's the crazy thing about this is that like, you can use any weapon system. I thought you were going to be limited where it was just like, oh, yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to, we're not going to have nuclear weapons or chemical weapons. No, and dude, you can nuke all day long in this. You can launch ballistic missiles. You can launch nuclear weapons. I mean, you can't even launch chemical weapons, but like, you can, you can get pretty freaking creative with this game. How close are you to bingo fuel? About an hour. At 353 nautical miles before it is it's gonna call it a day Jesus Christ okay that's done so what general direction are you heading home He's seriously heading all the way back down. Okay, so <clears throat> based, how do I get him to to refuel with the with the with the guys over here? That's two nuclear weapons that I can be using right now. See, he's automatically going to the tanker. This one is just like, oh yeah, no, I have like two nuclear weapons and I'm just, right click the plane, I think there's, okay, so, right click the plane, refuel if possible, select the tanker. No, no, you're just, you're going to keep going. You're going to waste my nuclear weapons. Select tanker manually. Tanker run. No, no, you're just, you're going to, you're going to, you seriously are just going to, oh, there's, <laughs> here's the other one. <laughs> he kind of damaged himself. <laughs> Gas bunker. He'll follow him from behind, I think, and try to catch up. Man, 
And get out of there, boy. So you, yeah, you're going to tanker number one. No, no, you're just gonna keep going. You're gonna, you seriously are gonna keep going, even though you're gonna run out of fuel in like two hours. Which actually, he could go back to Riyadh. Select new home base. Okay. He's just going to go land at Riyadh. You should try the Desert Storm DLC once you get the hang of the game. is the best DLC. There's two nuclear weapons that I could not utilize. He doesn't have any more, does he? I don't think so. So he's good. And he is heading back to base. And this idiot is just going to go all the way back to Riyadh. Just pussy it out or something. It's going to be a little close. Should I do in select tanker automatically and let it be? It's too late. He's already halfway to Riyadh. He had very, very little fuel left. He had like 14 minutes of fuel left. So, if I can click Riyadh, he is time to ready, 30 seconds, we're going to launch him again. So, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's what I thought before it launch. I knew it was going to take 19 hours, like an impossible amount of time. Yeah, we got an hour to go. These guys can go ahead and turn to base. And we're just going to see how this mission turned out. And I'll be so losses and expenditures. We lost zero aircraft. Expenditures was four tactical nuclear bombs. And we destroyed all of these different kinds of uh, uh, buildings, essentially. I'd say that was success. Success, four nukes. Yeah, first... First nuclear weapons to be used since World War II, and it's against the Iraq. Score changed from 0 to 100. Defend action, Iraq loss has been fired. Part of the event's second target hit. And then score changed from 100 to 200. Reason event action, Iraqi loss has been fired. Part of event first target hit. Okay, so we can go over here. Start menu. Close that. I have no campaigns right now. We're gonna think of another one. So there's one of them that I've been work kind of kind of messing with. It was a uh, um, Senkaku Crisis, which is a, but Senkaku Crisis it's fun. Like it's actually pretty cool, but like there's no end time, so it just keeps going until. I can recommend, recommend you some work. Yeah, recommend me something real quick. Something that you think I'd be able to do. Montevideo. 
coup in Uruguay, placed a military junta in control of the country and history. The junta crushed all opposition, trade unions, and political parties were illegal for a decade following the coup. The scenario assumes that the leftists were more successful in resisting the government crackdown, eventually triggering a general rebellion. It also assumes that the Soviet Union decide, decided to support the rebels in hopes of eventually establishing another so socialist state in Latin America. <laughs> An ordinary day in a Myanmar Air Force base commander's life. No fly zone Baltic, no fly, no fly zone Mediterranean. Nicaragua missile crisis. Think of it as a guidance. Yeah, that's what I need to find is how to how to keep it open. Northern Fury, Nuclear Storm is what we played. One ship, one country. Operation Allied Force. Serbian forces have utilized heroin drug trade profits to modernize their military. That was a uh, out of left field. I don't know if that's actually history. Advanced SAM S-300s, NATO signed SIG SA-10. Installations are throughout Serbia. Long-range deadly mobile silkworms, uh, SSC-1B. ASM sites have been also active in the theater. Reports of a possible Kilo-class submarine operating in the area has not been confirmed. There are more reports from Italy that organizations sympathetic to the Mil uh, Milosevic regime are using Italian ships to smuggle arms and oil from Russia and the PLA to Serbia via Montenegro. These ships are, be, are to be identified and neutralized immediately. Try TAFAS, TAFAS, Syria 2021. TAF, Putin's War. There's one of them that I thought was, I kind of laughed whenever I saw it. It's uh, the one where it's like you demilitarize Ukraine. It's obviously something made by someone to piss a certain section of people off. Usually I'd get pretty offended by it, but I thought it was funny. Because it was just... They, they keep... Like, the, the scenario just talks about, like, it's like it's like someone in Russia made it. Which I'm pretty sure it probably was. It's like a... It basically says, like, um, demilitarize civilian in infrastructure. And, like, it's so stupid. Taf Tafis. So Tafis. There you are. Tafis, Syria, 2021. This time is February 14th, 2021. 20, uh, 20 Zulu time. 2200 uh, Damascus time. Southwestern Syria, Northern Jordan, playable as NATO or the GCC. 20 hours duration, the background of Syrian civil war continues to drag all, drag all in with the rebel forces gradually using ground, while significant attention is paid to the Irbid sector of the fighting. In southwest Syria, the Free Syrian Army, FSA, holds on to an enclave in the vicinity of the city of Tafis. In January 2021, the Syrian elite 4th Armored Division was dispatched to immediate, eliminate the enclave, but in early February were bogged down in heavy fighting in the, in the city itself. The Assad regime decided the use of chemical munitions was worth, was worth the risk, and it would test the resolve of the new American Biden administration. On February 10th, the Hummit indicated to the Mossad CIA that chemical munitions were being stockpiled by the 4th Armored Division's 154th, 154th Artillery and 63rd Artillery Regiments. The Biden administration quickly warned the Assad regime not to utilize the weapons, but by the 14th, it was career preparations for a chemical strike were continued unabated. The quick consultations with NATO, Arab, and GCC leaders, uh, Gulf Cooperation Council, um, partners, a limited strike, 
package from Jordanian and Bintari bases was decided upon. While the United States had more assets in the region, the Iranian threat weighed heavily. But more importantly, given a tense Demer American domestic situation, the Biden administration didn't want to be seen as wagging the dog with a more expensive strike. And then your mission is to support the FSA by degrading Syrian offensive capabilities North TAFAS. Your targets are in order of precedence, which is HQs, artillery, rockets, Syrian aircraft engage operations against the FSA or your assets, SAM systems, armor, and mecha mechanized infantry. And then notes the scenario begins at 2200 local time with six hours to ready your aircraft. I have readied the E-52H at Al Udid Air Base in Qatar due to the long ready times of 20 hours. Two have MALD-141, MALD-J-160 decoy loadouts, and two JSAM. JSAM? 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 You receive points for destroying the Syrian unit types noted above and lose points. Lose points for every NATO GCC Jordanian aircraft you lose. Given the American domestic situation, high losses will not be tolerated by the American public. Likewise, the French, UAE, and Jordanian population can view significant losses as a defeat at the hands of the Assad regime, with possible unrest in the latter two. My man put his email in here. All right, so select, side selection and briefing. Commanding officer, 402nd, 407th Air Expeditionary Group, Jordan, commanding officer. <clears throat> the Syrian 4th Army Division is stockpiling chemical munitions strikes against FSA forces near Tafas. POTUS and National Command have authority. Command authority have it determined to send a message to the Assad regime by destroying those artillery assets. Your mission in conjunction with French, UAE, and Jordanian assets as both Jordanian Air Force bases under your command is to destroy the Syrian army units near Tafas and any 4th Armored Division assets involved in fighting near a city. This is a limit operation to be completed no later than February 15th, 2021 at 2200 UTC. And strike package loadout and uh, particulars are at your discretion. Assets, so 24 F F-15s, 18 F-35s, 18 UAE F-18 Desert Falcons, 54 Jordanian F-16s, and then the 300, 307th Expeditionary Air Wing is 4 B-52s, 8 KC-10s, 4 E-3Gs, 2 E-8 J-Stars, and 2 RC-135 Rivet Joints. And then we have 18 Rafael C's. Nuclear weapons are not authorized at this time. Okay. Effects of terrain type, aircraft damage, and detailed gunfire. Okay. Apparently the B-52s take 18 hours to get ready. Has the United States, I can't even remember this, has the United States used, my god, we have two weeks before this E3 century is ready. What are y'all doing in there? Working my ass off right now. How's it going, man? Pretty good, man. Early warning aircraft. We're going to launch this individually. KC-10s. Texaco. Yeah, Texaco owns our <laughs> KC-10. Um, okay, so we're gonna... And... Topcat. He's gonna be ready immediately. This is a RC-135. If I could, I can't double click it. We are going to launch Texaco is just a call sign. No, no, really. I know, I know, man. I'm just messing around. 
I like how Israel is just like, do not get us involved in this. No. Israel's going <laughs> to light us up if we cross into their airspace. Um, aircraft. So there is nothing at King Abdullah. Abdullah. Where's Maximo? Maximo, where are you at? My man. Let me play this real quick and we can see what we have on radar right now. Okay, so he said, read the briefing, keep it open on the map as well if you have. It's in view. Boom, range and bearing tool. Game. Side briefing. I'm gonna have this off to the side. So Taphus <coughs> Taphus is right here. So Sam's We're hitting artillery units. Is it destroyed a Syrian artillery units near Taphis and any 4th Armored Division assets involved in fighting near the city? Now they are just surrounded by Sams. So how am I going to go about this? Ah. Just bringing up the whole thing. Come on, man. Okay, so over here. Yeah, this is a workshop scenario. We're gonna go ahead and launch these B-52s and we're gonna attach them to a mission. So we're gonna launch these. It's gonna take about two minutes for them to get in the air. them up so make sure you escort the b-52s oh crap yeah um i need to get i need to get this e3 sentry in the air and then we need to get a kc10 in the air i'm gonna get two of them in the air Launch. Control V. I tried to do Control V and it didn't do anything. Well, I'll try it again. Hang on. We're going to launch them as a group. Do we have any fighters that we can escort those B-52s with? No, 
Something weren't. I don't know why I was doing that earlier. It's G. Yeah, it's G. Do we seriously have no ready fighters right now? And I would think that we would possibly have a carry strike group in the region as well. Because that's actually how it happened in the previous... In the previous, uh, like, what, two strikes that the Americans did against Syria? Is that the first one, there was a carry strike group. And then the second one, there was a carry strike group. You have six hours to prepare them. So essentially... I want attack options, reference points, define area, and we are going to get our refuelers to kind of hang back a little bit. Well, actually, no, that's a little too big. I am lagging like a mother right now. Let me get a snack, BRB. I'm about to go get a drink. Mission reference points. Delete, selected. There you go. Okay, so. Reference to fly, and we're going to get this little area. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's what's making me lag so much. So the artillery, turning that down for you guys, that artillery is just in this general area that I just marked. God, that this is just making, I have a powerful computer and I am struggling right now.
So I have no ability right now to get anyone in the air. So I have a general idea of what we're going to do. We're going to kind of come up like this, kind of hug Israel a little bit, strike in like this, kind of avoid directly flying over the SAMs, unless we can get our B-52s in the air, kind of soften up those SAM positions. armed with 12 ADMs. Yeah, so I have an idea. We're going to get our B-52s, and we're basically just going to get them to soften up the Sims before we get our guys in the air. We have an airborne early warning. She's going to be able to be in the air for about eight hours. We're going to mark, mark a mission for her as well. We're going to get our B-52s at max altitude. So flight 22, 32, 33. You are going to be a part of this. RP... 4327. Create a new mission. Mission name. Refueling. You're going to be a support area. Hit OK. Forty-three twenty-seven, forty-three twenty-six. Now, why are you selecting? Selecting these. Yeah, no, they're not going to fly over Syria, my guy. I know that. Oh, that's how I remember it. Aha! I'm learning! <laughs> Delete all reference points from Dreamer. Yeah, I got it. I got it, my guy. I'm learning! I'm learning! <laughs> uh.
Okay, so now we got it. They are just lighting up our the FSA right now. Cruise. Cruise. And you are going to be 36,000 feet. And they're just getting blasted right now. And they're hitting things that we can't even see, mainly because we have no aerial radar in the area. You can also set a home base for the new, for the AWS in case it runs out of fuel. Instead of flying all the way back to Qatar, it can land in Jordan. Yeah. And then the EG Sentry, I'm going to click this. I'm going to look at some information on it. Fixed wing, airborne early warning. We're going to kind of have him patrolling right up here between Saudi Arabia and Jordan, right before it hits the border of Iraq. So all of the artillery is in this area right here. All of the artillery. <laughs> and there's no freaking way we're going to lose this. Because he, he, like, the guy even said, like, you're not going to be able to get your stuff ready for, like, three hours. So, because I need a chance to get my early warning and everything over there, and B B fifty twos. I don't know if I should have waited for the B fifty twos to. So you, we're gonna turn on your radar.
Iraqi badger. Twenty one hours the bingo fuel for the B fifty two, so we got we can literally just let this guy just kinda hang around for a while. Well, no, okay, so I forgot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. First things first is what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is that we're gonna kinda sit around in Jordan and then kinda hit the uh the Syrian Sams kind of clean up this area in the south. We have 24 that we can hit. We're going to get our e uh, our early warning up there, try to see if we can see anything on the ground. And if we can, kind of hit some of the artillery positions early. Because, <laughs> again, we're not going to... We're not gonna be ready for a while to kind of get our get our guys up in the air, and then any other planes that we have. B fifty twos. I have two B fifty twos that I can get. Is it buffering for you guys? Huh. My uploader keeps telling me that it's buffering when it's really not. Okay. You guys ever see any issues, just let me know. Okay, so this yellow ring right here, by the way, that this is my weapons range, right? Because I'm assuming that's my weapons range. And can I turn on my radar? I do have radar. The only thing is that if I do... So why is, oh, that's his radar. Major development from Cincinnati. Oh my God, Backstar's in a chat. What the hell happened in Cincinnati? Well, no, I come over here and it's telling me that this is my radar right here. Because I forgot this thing kind of looks all the way around. Shit, I don't even have to go that close to, to Syria. I can actually hang around in northern Saudi Arabia and, and kind of hit. But no, we're going to hang around. We're going to hang around Jordan, kind of try to get the best information possible. Two hours before everything's ready to go. So we got two hours to kind of get our B-52s uh, 
soften things up. Hang around all Joff. And then once we're able to get everything in the air, then we're going to roll one. Well, um, the B-52s are on their way back. Um, we'll launch another round of B-52s, maybe like 30 minutes before. There is a MiG-21. Do we really? There is a MiG-21 just hanging around Jordan and Saudi Arabia, and there is no response that we can get. There is no response. We have an hour and a half before we can scramble our fighters. We're gonna wait for early warning to kind of get into the area. We don't see them. Where are they at, where are they at, where are they at? Syrians just launched two more bogeys. Contact report, emissions. This better not be missiles. Why are they, why are they launching missiles now? No. Those look, eh, no, we're going at like fire speed right now, so. Identify, identify, identify. Okay, those are jets. They're patrolling right now. So flight 32, 33. All right, so he's on his mission now. That's number one. Besides Syria, so Syrians do. There's something mobile on the ground. Okay, we're gonna get our B-52s to hang back just a tiny bit. They're not gonna get that close to Syria right now. Turning off your radar. I don't think any of them do have the radar on except for this guy. There's a SAM site right on the border. Okay, so we're actually starting to compile some information on artillery positions. Which it looks like they stopped firing at Taphus. Two bogeys kind of heading south right for one of our bases.
So these guys are going to loiter. We're going to save some fuel on them and get them to loiter. And we're not going to strike until we can scramble some fighters. FlightRadar24.com created a video game. It's Corbin. It's Corbin. Yeah, we're definitely getting some uh, information on these uh, on these uh, artillery positions. We don't have any solid information on it, but we are getting positions now. The moment we can start scrambling our fighters, we are going to soften the crap out of these SAMs. Especially with our B-52s. F-35s have long-range missiles, so you can keep them loitering near the border. They'll shoot down any incoming jets or missiles. They have great radars, too. So we're not going to go anywhere near Damascus. We're not going to worry about all this up here. Even though Daria, Damascus, Dumas. Dumas is actually where the uh, the, the 2017 uh, chemical strike was act actually occurred. I remember that. We're going to get you to loiter as well. You have 14 hours, 12 hours of fuel on you. We basically just need to wait at this point 40 minutes until we can scramble fighters. F 35s, 40 minutes. Yeah, everything has 40 minutes. And over here we have E8 Joint Stars. We have two B-52s that we can utilize. And we have about an hour and a half until we can deploy some more KC-10s. And our current flight right now of KC-10s. have a day god you're gonna be flying they can fly so long i wonder i'm really starting to understand this game finally and i love it I really thought I had some second thoughts whenever I bought this game, but the more I understand, the more I'm liking it. Group 324, mobile group two units, NATO GCC. What are you? You are weapons. Group lead can slow down. Uh, these are just some friendly ground units. Set a new home base for the EA AEW. Can you can you say a can you Emphasize what AEW is. What is AEW? That way I know what you're talking about when you say AEW. -E 21 minutes until we can scramble fighters. Airborne early warning, okay. Set a new home base for the AEW, make it in Jordan, because flight time also calculates the time it takes to fly back a base, so if your base is closer, it'll have more flight time. So, we will do that. So we are going to turn to base, like new home base, and this will be... Muwafak. Mwafuk. Okay, and 
12 hours and eight minutes. Move on, fuck. So you, we are going to make a mission area for you as well. Missions and reference points. Add a reference, no. Define an area. Airborne early warning is going to kind of right, hang, hang around right here. Seven, six, 7633 to 7636. This will be a mission. Create new mission. Mission. A, A, E, W. This will be a support. And... This will be, where is it? This will be the night two airborne night two. We only have one in the air. Units assigned a mission and he will hang around right here. That way he's not just kind of flying around in a circle. 38,000 feet. Should I get him to loiter or should I get him to... We're going to do cruise for now. Area validation, okay. He's already in the air. Okay. Oh, I love that I'm starting to understand this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. There was one time when I was a kid, I remember seeing a KC-10. I love that these are modeled. That's what I love about this, is that the 3D models, like, it's an E3. That is definitely an E3. Definitely, a it even has the uh, the the fueling rope. Obviously, a B fifty two. So B fifty two, what are you doing? B fifty two, we need to get you to kind of loiter in this area right here. No navigation zones, exact. So define area. We're gonna get you in this area. Creates new mission. This is going to be bomb B-52 patrol. Very mining cargo. Well, no, never mind. I just realized we're like, we have like 10 minutes before these guys are going to be ready to go up in the air. Yeah, we have two minutes before these guys are ready to rock. So um, we're just going to let them just kind of circle around for another two minutes. So we are going to get rid of these areas. 737 to... 
and we'll have something we'll have something ready for right there cmo discord i'll also beginner friendly they'll help you with whatever you need okay i'll do actually join that server before we before we uh launch we have one minute before we launch we are going to seven seconds and they are ready except they're not popping up green I'm an idiot. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I've been getting these guys to... D oh, my God. They're not armed. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. I haven't... I never armed them. I'm so stupid. I... Oh, fuck me. Fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't arm them. And now it's going to take another three hours for them to get ready. <laughs> no. No. Oh, fuck. I've been, I've been wasting so much time. <laughs> I've been wasting so much time. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> they're not armed at all they almost i was like this close to sending just a bunch of idiots up into the air with no weapons whatsoever oh <sighs> fuck uh, i feel like i'm about to have a heart attack arm everything right now so you don't have to wait anymore what i'm gonna wait another three hours for them to be ready oh and now it's gonna now it's saying 20 hours wait ready time oh never mind three hours at sustained operations. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm genuinely going to kill myself. Oh, another three hours. Mm. Mm. All righty. PG is an idiot. This live stream was for nothing. <laughs> we have some J cells. It's going to take him six hours to get some GBUs ready. Paveway, LGB, Mark 82. Mad Hatter, that's a funny name. We're going to get these guys to have um, some anti-air. We need some anti-air in the air. 
And then the Mad Hatter is 9 through this. These guys are going to be land strike CBUs. What is a CBU? Brief along Custer Bomb design for attacking areas. No, we're just going to go with the GBUs. Mark 82s, here we go. Fuck, it's going to be six hours. Oh, the, yeah, the bomb. So three hours for anti-air and then six hours for for um, land attack. Fuck, we could have been, wa we were wasting so much time. I say we, me, I was wasting time. I'm just saying we because I feel like it. That's funny though. That is funny that I was sitting here like hyping it up. I'm like, it's satisfying to watch people play CMO. There's barely any content on it. That's kind of what I've seen. It's just a bunch of tutorials. JR, hey, what's up? JR, you just missed like me like doing this for 30 minutes and then realizing that I'm not even going to be able to launch anything because I didn't arm anything. It was funny. I'm sitting here like, yo, dude, we got three hours. We got five minutes. We got five minutes until these guys are ready to go. We are ready to rock. We are ready to ready to go to work. And then I realized, oh, I didn't arm a single goddamn plane. So now I have to wait another three to six hours to launch an attack against Syria. <laughs> There's someone that's like yearning for some CMO content and they're going to be pissed off that they that uh, they're watching someone learn this. Do you guys want to see me play more of this though? 124 views on this. That's actually surprising. Okay, so then we're going to have some reserves. Ready arms. We're gonna the rest of them are just gonna be straight up anti air reserves. F sixteen Jordanians. They're going to be like, it's funny because they're going to be like, oh my God, someone's playing some new guy. I've never seen this guy play, play a, a, a CMO. Let's go. And then they watch my content and they figure out, oh my God, this guy has no idea what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> and then they realize, wow, I've been listening to this for 30 minutes and he didn't arm a single plane. This guy's an idiot. Unsubscribed. I'm losing like five subscribers because of this. Especially if you do combat and CMO and political stuff and power. See, that's what I want to do. I want to learn this game to the point to where, like, I'm going to be able to play this, like, with power and revolution. That's kind of the goal here, is that I'll be able to kind of, like, you know, do some political stuff and then, like, like playing as the United States, for example. And then I go to war in, with the United States, or, like, I say, like, hey, like, something like this where like I'm playing the United States and then I say, okay, Syria just launched a chemical attack against their people. Or like we have some assets in the region that we need to help support. And then I could say, okay, let's go into command modern operations and we're going to kind of simulate this. So it'd be a really cool kind of thing. We're playing as geopolitics and then we're getting really detailed whenever it comes to the military.
Yeah. All right, uh, th three hours, and then we can start hitting some of these uh, air guys. So at approximately 16, so about 13, but about t 13 hours to go, and then 10 hours to go is whenever we're going to be able to launch our guys. So basically, we're just kind of like sitting around right now. And we're good on fuel. I mean, these guys have, yeah, we have plenty of time on uh, on our B-52s. B-52s, okay, so we're going to assign you guys to a mission so you guys aren't just kind of like sitting around flying in circles like idiots. So B-52s, you're going to get assigned to a mission. See, this is how you kind of throw the Syrians off, is that you have an idiot that has never ran a military operation as complicated as this. And then that's how you throw them off. It's like, it's like, a <laughs> um, okay. So this is going to be B 52 combat air patrol. This is a patrol right now. C patrol, a anti, the anti air warfare. First strike, air intercept, land strike. So I put him on strike? No, I... Okay, hang on. Ready, delete mission. Great new mission, B-52 AP Air Patrol. We're gonna put him on support for right now. We're gonna do Grim 1 and Grim 2. Boom, boom, boom. Grim 1 and Grim 2. You guys are gonna be assigned to this mission and then you're going to be 37 to 40. Validate the area. You guys are going to go and patrol. So you guys are basically just going to be patrolling around until my idiot self can get my planes ready in about three hours. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm absolutely an idiot. There are thousands of people dying because of my mistake right now. Now, what I hope is that there is not going to be a point where we fly too close. See, that's what kind of worries me. So we are going to get it to be like that. We're not going to fly that close to Syrian airspace. Have some fish beds right there. We don't want to instigate anything yet whenever we have a no response because I didn't <laughs> I'm gonna be reveling in that for a while. Reveling. I, I I keep I keep saying reveling as if I know what that means. Someone I use that one word I used that word a while ago and then someone said, Well, you know that means celebrate, right? Revel like I'm meaning like it's, it's, I can't think of the word. It's a uh, the word where you're basically kind of like thinking about it a bunch. New contact just got detected. Or crime's gonna be crazy if you do combat and CMO instead of PNR. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I you know what kind of you know what kind of scenario I want to see? I want to see the USS Liberty scenario.
and I really would like to turn my radar on on the uh, the B fifty twos, but I'm kind of afraid of that. So ground strike aircraft are going to be five hours, five and a half hours. And then we have two and a half hours until our air to air. So once we get our air to air, then we can start kind of softening up some stuff with the B-52s because we're going to be able to respond to any sort of SAMs or MiGs that are going to be heading in our general direction. So once we are able to do that, then that's where we're going to, whenever we're going to start using the B-52s. We're going to use the B-52s. We're going to kind of patrol the area of Jordan. Um, we really want to get the closest ones in this area. So we got one, we got one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, There's a big building right here, then air base. We got an air base right here. So we can strike the airbase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten. These ten right here is where we're gonna concentrate our twenty-four on. So the other thing, uh, Chulo, should I get Tac View Advanced? Like, what is the difference between Tac View Free and Tac View Advanced? These guys kind of scare me every time they fly really close to the border and then kind of go back up. I always think they're about to like make a beeline for my base. I'm going to step away for one second. Um, I'm going to go grab a drink real quick, but I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Wow. Okay. There's a new radar contact, probably some more MIGs. The more time we wasted, the more time they have to just <laughs> get more planes in here. And of course, I didn't ready up the the French guys. French are mainly just going to be used for combat air patrol. And once we get the B-52s online, whenever we're like, we actually get some guys in here, basically what we're going to do is that we're going to come over like this. We're going to come up straight like this. Well, see, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. No. We're going to leave whenever we get our ground attack ready. We're going to hit the artillery units. What we're going to do, I keep, I keep trying, I keep double thinking myself and I'm just like, should we do it like this? Should we do it like that? That's the fun thing about this game is that it's strategizing. It's strategizing about what you think will be best. It doesn't tell you what you should do except in the mission briefings. Basically in the mission briefing, it just tells you get rid of those artillery units, which is the main focus of the mission. But the way to kind of get around that is that you have to strategize. You have to say, what is the best way to approach this mission? So like I'm thinking right now, like I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking we're going to use the B-52s. We're going to soften up this area right here. Whenever we get to soften up this area, then we kind of leave some room that our, our uh, uh, Ground attack aircraft can actually come in and strike them from the south without much <laughs> worry about these guys coming in, but they can still get fired the crap out of by these guys up here because we're kind of concentrating up in this air base right here, but we're not going to be able to concentrate up here because we don't have enough missiles. Actually, while we're waiting, since we messed up, we're going to actually launch more of those B-52s. So we're going to launch Grim 3 and Grim 4. What can we arm them with? B-52, yeah, mandatory 20 hour. Yeah, we're not going to rearm them. We're not going to wait 20 hours for these guys to get done. We're not going to be, we're, they're not going to be able to be used if we try to rearm them. Come on, we can't use nuclear weapons. Come on, I want to use a nuclear weapon against Syria. Okay, so you guys are going to launch as a group. Give them two minutes, and then we will kind of shove them up like this. And that way we have 20... Twi well, how many do we have? 12, 24, 36, 48... ADM-160Cs molds that we can just strike them with.
Well, actually, no. I just realized both of them have different loadouts. So these have 12 of the ADM 160s. ADM 160s. It's a decoy vehicle? Is it not a missile? It's a decoy vehicle. So this guy has the AGM. Oh, okay, I get it. So we use these B-52s to launch decoys to kind of get them the kit to get them to engage the wrong ones. And then we use the actual B-52s, the AGM 158s, to actually hit them. So we have 48. So we still have 48 missiles that we can work with. I'm still kind of getting used to the <clears throat> to the weapons. So yeah, so we have these guys. RF. There's no warhead, so it's not even a missile, it's a decoy. So we're doing it to kind of get him to give Hold on, what's going on? What's going on? Which one is the actual missile? Four hours, we have an hour. Whenever Kate, whenever a cap can get up in the air. Nearly 150 views on this stream. That's actually pretty interesting. It's it's good that I'm 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 glad you guys are liking that I'm able to to play these new games. You know, before like a lot of times, y'all would just be like, "No, you gotta stay with your you gotta stay with what you have. You gotta stay. You gotta go back to Power and Revolution." <laughs> I remember one comment like that. It was funny. So actually, by the time that our B-52s arrive, we're actually going to have some planes in the air. All right, so now things are going to start getting really fun. I'm about to lose so many B-52s. Biden administration is going to get their asses kicked. It's a new bogey.
honestly, the strength of the United States military, honestly, is just unbelievable. You have to admit that the U.S. military is just beyond comparison to any other military power that has ever, ever existed on planet Earth. The Romans, the Achaemenids, like, no other military power will be able to match the United States' influence, tacticality, like, in hundreds of years. We're getting ready to rock right here, about 40 minutes from our combat air patrol being ready to go. The other thing that I absolutely love about this game is that it's like it's all realms. It's space, it's air, it's naval. Like you can command an entire carrier battle group in fight. I mean, we could be doing the exact same thing we're doing right now with an entire carrier task force. Which, again, I'm kind of surprised that there is no, like, I mean, hell, I mean, I'd be lighting it up with some Arleigh Burks right now. Got 18 minutes in this hill. And I think we're probably just going to wait until our ground for ground strike aircraft are going to be able to go because really, I mean, I'm not going to risk all of my aircraft going into Syria and then just getting lit up by Sam's. Well, the radius isn't that big. Assuming that this red circle right here is the range, which I don't think they are. Hang on. Actually, it tells me. Sensors, 135 nautical miles. They use a mount stores weapons. All mounts. It's max range 10 nautical miles. Yeah. 10 nautical miles, huh? I can use range and bearing. Huh. 
Yeah, that is her range. Okay, so 10 nautical miles. So, yeah, there's really not going to be that much of an issue. I don't think. I say that, I'm going to jinx my ass. Ten. Yeah, I could. So the B-52s are going to, like, soften this whole area up once I get some combat air patrol. Once I get some combat air patrol in, then they'll be able to protect not only the B-52s, they'll kind of be able to kind of swoop in, take out these planes that are going to scramble to the area. And then once my bombers are ready... Then they'll be able to sweep in, identify all these triple A's. <laughs> the, th the thing is, is that probably by the time my ground attack aircraft are going to be ready, it's going to be daytime and it's going to be a lot easier for these SAMs to light us up. So cap should be done. Six minutes until cap is done. Oh, we actually have some Patriots in the area. You know, it's funny, I've actually been doing this whole thing. We're going to temporarily turn its radar on to see if we can see anything else. Get a little closer. I have an idea now. It's going to be kind of funny, but I'm going to come over here. Okay, so we got some ready. We're going to launch two as a group. These are going to be F-16s. Actually, three as a group. 
give him two minutes and all of our F-35s are ground strike. What about our F-15s? We're going to fly really low to the ground. These SAMs only have a 10 nautical mile radius and a lot of a lot of these uh, targets are outside of the range of the SAMs. So we're going to fly really, really low to the ground. We're going to turn our radar on and we're going to see if we can see anything. And we're going to have some guys kind of hanging around back. We're going to send one guy in here. We're going to send one guy in here and we're going to and we're going to try to see if we can identify these things. And then what we're going to do is if they start to fire the SAMs because of the this area right here which I'm trying to identify which of those it's probably the radar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the radar. Because all of the SAMs that I'm able to identify don't have that much of a range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's their radar range, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. So F-15s are going to kind of deploy over here. We're going to hang out really close to Israeli airspace. Twenty eight minutes until the French are ready. I don't know if you guys can hear the music. We're going to send these F-16s in and we're going to really quickly try to identify some of these really close up and then get the hell out of there before they can hit their big before they can start hitting them with their SAMs. And then we have some of the F-15s that will back them up just in case they start to fire and we'll engage their missiles. Yeah, they see us now. Oh, 
Oh, shit. That's what that is. Okay. Actually, no, 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 no. Turn your radar on really fast. Yes. That's all we needed. Okay, go, 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 go. Once these missiles get really close, then we're going to turn around and engage them. You need to turn your radar off. We're going to scramble some more combat air patrol. going to be 
Ugh. Okay, so what else I need to do is that we are going to get rid of the reboot, delete mission. D fifty two strike two Aranus upland strike good. And this is going to be flight or grim one. D fifty two strato fortress. What we're gonna do is that we're going to target out of range, cannot determine the most suitable weapon. Closer. Strike, strike, strike. Two down, two down, two down. Let's go. Now things start starting to light up. B-52s just launched a massive attack. They're on their way home. So we're going to try to soften up as much as we can. I possibly made a mistake because I, I did target a couple of airport. I should have just solidly just went after the Sams. I'm probably about to regret this decision in about five seconds. So, we finally got some some information on the ground. So, this is the information that we have. So, there's mechanized. And there is armored. It's a lot of armor. A lot of armor. Thirty-six thousand. Engage, 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 engage. Get out, get out. No. Okay, don't don't 
cross. Don't cross. Don't cross. Don't cross. Special actions, losses and expenditures. We've lost two F-16s. And they have lost... We've lost a lot more. <laughs> They've expended 7,560 MLRSs. You know, this is the exact reason why this is not done in 2013 or 2016, 2017. It doesn't make sense, I guess, like, militarily, because they know that, they know that Syria is going to be arming the crap out of their... They know that Syria would be arming the living crap out of their, uh, uh, what do you call it? SAM sites. So that's why we strike him from over here. It does make it more interesting for the situation, but. They just got engaged by Sam. Get out! What are you doing? Get out of there! You are getting lit up by Sam's right now. What are you doing? I know they're trying to dodge it, but it's like... Dude, get out. And we're gonna lose this guy. Oh, never mind. Go! Get out! What are you doing?! <laughs> Oh my god. Go 
Ryan, you are being stupid. They just keep hanging around, just like, yeah, no, we're just gonna hang around like five miles from a SAM site. And we just lost another one. And he's going back! No, 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 no. We're not going anywhere more close to where we don't need to be. hell is this? That's oh, a mobile unit. See, I was able to sneak in like this, but then we got engaged by like a very, very, very long range. Yeah, these uh, SA-6. SA-6, I did not think about that. 50 nautical miles. 40 nautical miles. Wait, no. That's a sensor. That is 13 nautical miles. So we're still kind of outside of his range. This one. This is the one that fired at us. This one is 23 nautical miles. Where is it? View range. Damn, I got him somewhere like right here. No, we got him like right next to this. So there's something right in the middle that is really kicking ass on on range. It's not that. It's not that. What about you? Ten nautical miles, two nautical miles. How much longer do we have until our ground for gr ground attack aircraft are good? Hour and 40 minutes. This is kind of why I wanted to wait. Because we already expended our B-52s. So B-52s, they're done. These guys are actually crossing into Jordanian airspace. Auto. We're gonna hang around with these B-52s though. Cause once we get our ground attack ready to go. Once we get our ground attack ready to go, basically we can kind of overwhelm them at that point. It's this one.
This one is capacity, 10 nautical miles, one nautical mile. Really? Go, 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 go.
<laughs> Why are you flying so close to the Sam sites? I love this right here. It literally says sensors, mark one eyeball. It just basically means the guy sees it and that's what he's reporting. How is this guy not getting shot down? Dude, where are you going? Chad, he is getting lit up right now. He's like soaking up so many Sams. He's just making him run out of ammo. Oh no, he got shot down. No, 7646. No, no, he got shot down. Oh, fuck. Whoa. There's the artillery. Okay, so the single dot is the artillery. Dot with the sync thing over it is triple A. Shit, I've been streaming for almost three hours. And only four people are watching right now. No one said anything in like maybe an hour or something. Is there anyone out there? Is there anyone watching? You know, it's funny. If I had done this mission right, we literally would have these guys in the air by now. But, yeah, I've been streaming for like three hours. I'm going to go ahead and call it. It's like 1030 here. So, um, 150 views. Not bad. Really, really not bad. Um, I'm really tempted. Okay, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to fly a plane in the Israeli airspace and see what happens. No, he's going to go all the way around. Damn it. Next time, we're just going to have to play him better and actually arm our aircraft. Word of note, I have not played. I'm still learning this game, so it's always fun. Bro, you were flying deep. Damn, are they really getting Sam's that high that quick? Why am I over Sevastopol?
You're like scaring the living shit out of these beef. <laughs> and he shot him down. No. It's like the first B-52 to get shot down since Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to see you guys later. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for joining in today. Glad you guys actually like this live stream. Um, if you guys have not, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything whenever I do make it. Um, if you guys are were expecting me to be, be like, you know, an expert at this, no, no. I'm still learning, and I am absolutely enjoying this game so much. I mean, this was really intuitive. Like, it really makes you think. It really makes you kind of strategize, and it teaches you a lot about military and about strategy in general i mean this is this is what you call a strategy game um but guys leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you